Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with a C, back with another video. Um, CD update time. Um, but before I get properly into the update, I want to show you this. This is um, a VCLT from um, Bev over at Clark o Vision. A couple of days ago, um, I got home from work, parcel lay on the side, wasn't expecting a parcel to be there. Um, looked on the back, it said, from Clark Vision. I couldn't wait to open it. I had to get into it to see what it was. And it's it's a blinder. It's brilliant. Um, little note in there saying that she she had this um, to pass on to me. Um, and she hadn't done with, obviously, the whole COVID-19 thing going on. So she'd hung on to it for a little while. Um, Bev sent me a, a VCLT not that long ago actually with some some real quality death metal in it and this is no exception look what bev sent me gorguts and uh, pleiades dust i hope i'm pronouncing that right this is um this is one track cd 33 minutes long i believe it says on the hype sticker um extreme metal pioneers gorguts bring singularly singular 33 minute narrative composition. Um, Pleiades Dust is a deft marriage of extreme metals bombast with the tenets of classical composition. Um, I believe it's a, it's about some kind of, I think it was like the largest library in the 11th or 12th century, like a big depository of books and it, the philosophers had built it up and built it up over decades. Um, only for the um, the Mongols, I think, to invade and, and destroy it. Uh, but musically, it's just everything you expect from Gorguts. Technically unbelievable. Um, very atmospheric, some real lovely dark passages in there. Uh, absolutely superb. It's a 2016 release on Season of Mist label. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for that, Bev. You, you're very kind. Um, I've had a, a few listens to this now. It's just quality. Gorgos never let you down, in my opinion, anyway. So thank you very much, Bev. Um, okay, let's get into it. I'm going to keep it fairly short. I think I've got six CDs to show you here. First off, from Brazil, we have got Grave Desecrator. Look at that cover. It don't get any uh, any more dark than that, does it? Really, this is a Brazilian band, um, sort of blackened thrash metal, very much um, kind of. I suppose you'd, you'd compare them more to Sarcophago than you would Sepultura. Um, some real doomy passages in there. Vocally, um, reminds me very much of John Walker from Cancer. Um, but yeah, I'd seen, I'd seen these guys around a little bit and um, was looking to pick some up and they're, they're quite pricey really. Um, I did buy a vinyl of theirs uh, but I got let down on it. Uh, it was like a, a yellow or gold vinyl and I got it for an absolute bargain. I think maybe the seller realised what um, a low price is, let it go out anyway, it never arrived. I got a refund but yeah, this is um, their second um, release. Grave Desecrator from from Brazil and their album Insult Blackened Thrash Metal. Next up from Sweden, we have got a little bit of traditional heavy metal. This is Steel Wing and their album Reset, Reboot, Redeem. I've got another one of their um, CDs, um, Lord of the Wasteland. Real quality, um, traditional heavy metal, sort of speed metal. Um, harking back to the day um, I think this is their third album this one and this is um, a little bit of a departure from the last album it's it's still got that traditional heavy metal feeling but um, with a sort of modern more modern twist to it vocally this guy um, he's very good he, he does remind me a little bit of um, Peavy um, Peavy Wagner from Rage but he's certainly got a decent range. I know he said rage, but he's, yeah, he's got a decent range to his voice. Um, it's very good. I mean, you see the picture there. 
you can kind of tell what you're going to get. But yeah, Steel Wing from Sweden and Reset, Reboot, Redeem. Okay, next up, this is a band. Now, with this whole sort of live, um, bands not being able to play live with the whole you know pandemic that's going on, it, it kind of made me look a little bit more towards Bandcamp. Um, and I thought, you know what, if, if I'm not going to, whatever money I've kind of put away for going to see live bands, if I can't go and see them, maybe I should just try and pick up um, some of their merchandise off Bandcamp. It might help a little bit. Uh, I feel like I'm doing my bit anyway. Uh, and this is a band that I have picked up through Bandcamp. Um, and I can only say good things about these guys. This is just awesome, awesome American death metal. This is the band Sentient Horror. Good logo for you to try and work out. Um, they're cloudy. I know you always say the death metal logos are hard, uh, logos are hard work. Uh, that's another one. This is um, Ungodly Forms. I think this is their debut actually. Released um, 2016 on a split between Testimony, Testimony Records and Redefining Darkness. Um, it's just quality, quality old school death metal. Um, with obviously they're a modern band, so they've got a certain certain modern edge to them. Uh, but it's more your your slow riff based death metal. There's, there's there's you know there's not too many blast beats in there. It's not brutal. It's real old school. Um, you know riff. The riff is the master. Brilliant vocals. Real real growly. Um, you know, you can kind of make out a little bit of what he's saying, uh, which, you know, I don't mind. I, I, I love it when you can't hear a fucking word they're saying, like John Sardy or whatever. I, I, I'm all for that. But, um, yeah, real, real, real good band, this. Um, they've got a new album out. Well, they've got, I think they've got an EP and two albums out. But if you if you love your old school death metal, please go and check these guys out because they're, uh, they're worthy of... Um, Anyone who's into the old school, checking out. Sentient horror and ungodly forms, absolutely superb. In fact, I've just ordered the vinyl. They've just released, um, thanks to Liam actually. Um, he's gonna cost me a fortune, that guy. Uh, Death Doom Metalhead, Doom Death Metalhead. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong. Death Doom Metalhead, I'm sure that's what it is. Um, yeah, he was telling me about them and said that they've, they've reissued on blue vinyl. Um, so I was kind of umming and ahhing, and I thought, oh, and I've ended up buying it, but um, it's well worth it, because it's, it's a brilliant album, absolutely brilliant. Okay, next we have got, um, from Finland, um, again, old school death metal at its finest, Coffin Craft and In Eerie Slumber. Um, HM2, Buzzsaw, Swedish, old school sound uh, it's on the Spanish Memento Mori um, label which I have got a few releases on that and they, they're always quality they know what they're doing these guys but yeah if you like um, old school Swedish death metal it's it's more leaning towards the doomier side um, it's not there's not as many fast parts in there as some of the other bands but um, yeah, I'd, I'd never heard of them, just one of those albums I came across. Like the look of it, I'm always interested in Memento Mori as a label, what they're putting out. But yeah, again, old school death metal, Swedish HM2, Buzzsaw, brilliance. Um, next up, we have got from um, Germany. Superb band these, I've just managed to pick up. This is the last one that I needed to pick up of their discography. They've only got three out, but this is um, Slow Today, an abattoir. Um, if you're familiar with um, Autopsy, you know they've got a song called Slow Today. This band are Autopsy Worship, Mental Funeral, Severed Survival, Acts of the Unspeakable, that era. Uh, again, another great label, FDA Records, German label, um, 2018 released this, six tracks. If you love all those autopsy albums that I've mentioned, you're going to love this band. Filthy, 
doomy, horrible death metal. Perfect, just perfect. Um, great band. I picked up uh, their other albums, um, Nightmare, Vortex, and Laws of the Occult, and they're just just excellent. You know, they're not complete rip-offs. Uh, I would never say that about any band, um, really. But you know, the, the bass in there, their style around, obviously, the music they love. Um, well, that's Slaw today, Abattoir. Superb, doomy, dirty death metal. And last but not least, and this is a bit of a grail for me, I showed in my last update, um, I think it was, that I picked up this member, uh, Misanthropic, the little EP they released, which was a grail of mine. Well, I've managed to pick up the other dismember EP that was a bit of a grail of mine, and that is um, Casket Garden. Swedish death metal. You all know Dismember. If you watch my channel, you all know who Dismember are. One of the Swedish big four. Just ace. What a band. They're playing um, next year at the Swedish Invasion. So I'm playing in London. And, and I'm, I'm hoping I won't be able to get to that. When it be in London, it's a bit of a bastard. Because I'm trying to find somewhere to stay in the tubes and all that. You know, it's hard work. But, um, yeah, this is an EP. This was released in... Uh, 95 um, three tracks you know exactly what you're getting from this member perfect perfect Swedish death metal old school Swedish death metal it's kind of it seems a bit weird calling this member old school Swedish death metal because you know I suppose that's where this sound comes from bands like this isn't it so they are just Swedish death metal that's how I uh, talked about them back in the day. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah, another um, grail of mine. This member casket guard, I'm very happy to pick up that. Nuclear Blast, superb, superb. That's it, guys. That is my CD update for today. Um, in the background, we are listening to Mason. This was recently sent to me by uh, my good friend, Brendan Von Doom. From Australia. This is Australian thrash band. Uh, this is their debut release. Absolute superb thrash metal. Um, just really, really good. I mean, you can hear it in the background. It's just mid-paced, great riffs, growly vocals, but you can hear what he's singing about. Thanks very much for that, Brendan. It's uh, it's an absolute blind. Mason Warhead. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, I'm going to do a vinyl update for my next video. Um, got a bit of a stretch on the nights, not on nights, on the lates at work. So, um, hopefully, I can get around to doing that at some point soon. But um, until I uh, speak to you again, look after yourselves, take care. Thanks for watching. All the best.